Hi everyone, I thought I'd um, do a small talk on uh, Asperger's and social skills. Anyway, as for me, uh, social skills were something I had to develop. Uh, I had to actually go out of my way to learn. But um, I have an understanding that some people with Asperger's tend to get this a little bit easier than most. Uh, the majority is people with Asperger's tend to be socially, uh, basically, it's an incapacity to keep up with um, the learning curve to a point that the challenge to keep up with the social um, dynamics gets too much and basically that's when social phobias and defenses start kicking in, basically anything to keep up or with the group basically so anyway for me I actually did go back to school intentionally when I was 17 so that I could actually learn social skills I just took the initiative and um, went said to myself no I obviously can't do it not like everyone else so I intentionally went back and spent an entire year um, learning social skills. I, I didn't learn much else from the teachers at the school or not, but uh, I went with my intention and I succeeded with learning what I had planned to learn. Now, my social skills are quite good and though uh, it seems to be an idea in um, the world of autism, is that uh, a lot of high-functioning autistic people tend to have <laughs> sort of sold their soul to keep up with social interaction and this idea, this facade of um, being okay and being functioning um, in a neurotypical society. Now, for me, I have to admit that I did tend to act a bit so that I'd fit in better basically it was mostly for um, other people's benefit than my, my own really because I found that if I found other people more comfortable around me in turn that would make me more comfortable and then I'd actually relax and be myself and not my ego like I was talking about in the other um, talk so <laughs> I guess it gets pretty complicated, so I'll try to keep it a bit short. But, um, basically, I needed to fake it till I made it, basically. Because I faked it until the situations became a safe, secure area where I felt safe enough to actually express myself normally. And, um,. It's incredibly hard to do that when most of your life, every time you've expressed yourself as you, uh, people usually go, why'd you do it that way? Or you're doing it wrong, that's not how you're meant to do it. And do you know how much doubt that creates in a person's mind? So we can't constantly have to deal with that. In one way it's good because it means we never hold on to an idea to a point that we can't let go of it. Well, that's that's what I learn. I, I find that a lot of people say that people with Asperger's tend to be very, very stuck in their ideas. I think that's mostly because we feel like everyone else is invading our decisions and our thought making. So when we latch onto an idea, we tend to just really kind of stick to it. And um, I found for myself that I couldn't live like that. That all it did was make me unhappy and as the saying goes would you rather be right or would you rather be happy and frankly I chose the latter glad I did <laughs> anyway I've got a quite a thriving social life nowadays and um, social situations actually do not bring me social anxieties as much anymore it's it's very minimal now it's more more along along average kind of anxieties um, uh, there's still certain things I have to deal with and um, a lot of uh, difficulties I have with uh, simplistic English uh, sentence structure and whatnot 
still holds me back a bit and following a conversation is also difficult if it's more than one person <laughs> also I tend to be a little bit distractible as my friend then uh, pointed out last week I'll be having a conversation with her and then all of a sudden I'll be like ooh shiny and I know it sounds <laughs> it sounds like a joke out of a movie but it's uh, it's true but it's not so bad because uh, I only let my one, uh, attention wander if, well, either I'm too tired to keep my attention on things or whether um, it's not that important. Like, uh, it is important to hear what people have to say, but at the same time, uh, it shouldn't hurt that person's feelings if they're not hurt, because frankly, that happens all the time. And that's, that's a lesson I learned for myself, that uh, taking things personally more often than not is just gonna hurt you in the long run, long run. it's gonna be more distractive to your compassion itself so it's just really just useless to take things personally um, I remember uh, an old saying an old story where a man used to write hurtful things in sand if someone said something hurtful to him he would write it in sand and if someone said something nice to him he'd carve that in stone and the reason was this was because you should be aware of when people are being hurtful, but you shouldn't hold on to it. You should always hold on to the good things because they're the ones that keep you going through the rough times. Anyway, gone a little off topic. Um, so, socially, learning social skills was a long, uh, very long period for me. It took me a long time to do. Uh, I've only recently got to the point where my anxieties are actually dropped from it. Um, I actually, <laughs> just, to, just to make sure I could do it, last year, at the end of last year, I had actually left for overseas for um, three months to go on Thailand and backpack. And it was just me and one of my friends. And it was great fun and such a learning experience because I wanted to know whether I could survive in completely foreign um, environments and still be able to continue being sociable enough and um, articulate enough to communicate and enjoy company of others which is something I really could not live without anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys soon